One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tom Diesel here. I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, today, we just had a you know a pretty solid uh, weekend mentoring session. And uh, as I've um, you know went over uh, to the videos in, in the library, and there's one topic that uh, I've noticed uh, that uh, you know has not been uh, talked uh, a lot. Uh, you know, we had only one video on that, so I thought it could be a good idea to, you know, uh, to kind of explain it a little bit in detail. So today's topic is going to be uh, about channel trading. You see the, the lines I'm drawing, okay? So let's say you found a channel, you're going to scout into this, okay? And let's say you're going to, you know, probably miss this one since, you know, is is the one that's going to define the channel, right? So once you found that, okay, so let's say you were going to long here. This is one, you know, one trade, long another one here, second trade. I mean, you know, you, you can easily scalp that twice. But I'm, I'm just saying, you know, from 1.8 to 1.7, right? But if you, let's say you scale from 1.9 here all the way to 2, so at least you could get, you know, like, you know, this one, one trade, you know, scalp here, second trade third trade fourth trade and you know probably this one yeah it's like you know four times at least you see how how powerful it is but keep in mind that you have to be really disciplined when the channel is broken okay the moment the channel is broken you have to stop out there's no way you know that this there should be no argument uh, you know after that or like you know or, or just put a hard stops or like tight stop just above this channel here right here and you know once once you let it kind of put the top here you can see here's the support if it breaks this i'm going to stop out if it breaks this high i'm going to stop out right it's like at two because right? you're risking like three cents if you you know scaling into that or short into that you're risking like you know two or three cents and you know the risk reward you can get at least like i don't know six cents that's the minimum right you're risking three cents make six cents that two to one you know profit ratio and I think that's pretty good right but you just have like I said you just have to be really disciplined with your risk management or it's like you have to pre predefine your risk because because usually this is the time when the algo is taking over and a lot of time it could really squeeze you right but the point I'm trying to make here is that this is like uh, let's say you made money in the first hour already and you want to stuck around and 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 you want to play you know a little bit say you know go with small size with hard stops and you know that's what i've been discussing in my videos is that a lot of times i'm up you know on the day and one of my rule is that i don't want to give back 30 percent of my winning profits on that day okay so let's say i'm up like a thousand bucks i don't want to give back more than 300 bucks back the moment i reach that number the moment I'm down to like, you know, 700 bucks, I'm calling it a day, right? I can use that profit, you know, to do whatever I want, you know, with, you know, some extra strategy during the low because during the low here, I can use really small size, but I can, you know, scalp it more like, you know, several times. That's that's pretty good, right? I'm, I'm just using that extra 300 bucks just in case something goes wrong. I'm going to lose that 300 bucks. That's fine. But if things going my way, I could, you know, make it uh you know more than that thousand bucks maybe like two thousand or three thousand you know just just something like that but as i said you know it doesn't matter what you trade doesn't ma matter what your strategy is you have to respect risk, risk management right and this is risk management it's really all come down to it and this is mdgs i'm gonna have here some another example here Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. 
like yeah look at this one okay moving the pre-market yeah, I mean you can see here you can clearly see the range here right like the channel is right one here and one here I mean you can scalp that around right? but in the pre-market you know it's gonna be a little bit hard but uh, let's wait you know for, let, let's say after 10 30 okay this is a perfect example now I can see here is the resistance I'm, I'm seeing and still kind of drop to this so this is support I'm seeing so I see this let's say you know I'll, I will probably ignore this trade but I'll, I will trade this one right uh, because you know I kind of found the channel from this one to this one here so I'm gonna short here resistance and let's say here support but uh, you know uh, like 15.50 to like oh man it's like almost almost a dollar that's pretty good risk reward I mean if you short here 15.50 yeah, let's say you risk 16 right 50 cents to make you know a dollar that's that's pretty decent right but let's say I, I want to get into this trade because I, I don't know what's gonna happen to this one right it seems uh, you know uh, putting a range here you know support and resistance let's say I'm gonna show into this and let's say I cover this okay one trade I got it right right a dollar okay so in like this one I have no you know I have like let's say uh, I'm just gonna cover this part I had no idea was gonna do that you know squeeze like that okay so all I know is uh, is the details from the previous or like you know from like look on the left to kind of predict uh, like to kind of predict what's gonna do in in, in 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 right here so let's say I got this one tray and then I want to you know to scalp it based on my strategy I want to scalp it you know multiple times until it proven uh, otherwise right so in this case I got it this one and I, I, I try to short back here again but then it ended up you know stopping me out right that's fine you know, I, I, do, I lost like 50 bucks here, but I, you know, I might, oh, I, I already made a dollar here, right? But if right, I could make another buck, so you know, here I could be two. But imagine if you didn't stop out. Imagine if you didn't follow your plan and you didn't stop out, right? Keep stubborn and keep adding. This is what you get, okay? And this is, uh, this is really a dangerous uh, kind of situations when you don't know what you're doing and you know uh, it doesn't matter if that's after zombie or not okay. you know if you're trading after zombie ask yourself what is your edge right why are you entering this trade uh, because of the channel trading okay I see this channel I'm gonna trade this channel right the moment it breaks I'm gonna stop out and so try to stick to it okay your brain is always gonna convince yourself something else your brain is always convincing yourself, you know, to do something more greedy, uh, like, you know, uh, you're going to short here and the next thing, you know, like pops a view app. Okay, maybe it's the view app rejections, right? It did, it did kind of, you know, reject here and then you can scab in size here. And the next thing, you know, it's going to squeeze you all the way from 15 to 24. So, uh, so uh, try, try to respect that. Try to respect and have your own rule. And as as you can see here, right uh, here, the moment kind of put out another range here. Let's say this one and this one. You see that uh, this two line. Okay, let's say you're not gonna trade the first two or three here because you wanna kind of the range or or the channel to kind of develop, right? So let's say you're gonna trade four times. Uh, I mean the I mean usually what I, I I like to see is at least once, kind of you know, or twice, because starts kind of rejecting to the same channel. That's mean, you know, that's more like confirmation to me that uh, the channel has been set. So uh, usually after this, I'm going to trade on this one, cover here, short here, cover here, short here, cover here. Let's say I can get at least like, you know, three or four times, right? But keep in mind, this is the most important part about channel trading is that the moment the channel is broken, you need to stop out. Okay, stop out wait for it to put another channel in, in like maybe or oh, like oh, like this channel i mean you can do that too i mean you see like support resistance and you know shorting in towards that you know resistance cover here shorting into resistance cover down here you know that's the same thing and shorting into this broke this channel stop out here you risk like i don't know how much is like 30 40 cents right here but that's fine right 
but you know since that you already made back like you know three or four times but the key thing here is that the moment channel is broken you have to stop out you have to get out wait for the next channel to be you know uh, setting in uh, so guys yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know if you need any, uh, like you know any help uh, regarding this topic and uh, I'll be happy to help uh, alright guys so I see you guys on the next one take care Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.